Hey there, don't forget to subscribe and also hit that bell button so you'll be notified every time that I post. See you! Uh, hello guys, hello guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. Our goal for today is to build this list view uh, which will fetch some pictures from the internet. And now, how are we going to do this? Uh, to do this, we're going to use an API, Pixabay API, and that API can provide to us some free images from the internet. Let's try to connect to my device. You see, sometimes this happens, like you don't find the device. If you don't, what I usually do is I open Android Studio, I run my device again, and then it will be available to run on IntelliJ, right? Okay, let me just stop the video until I reboot my device and I'll come back. Uh, so guys, here I have my device rebooting. I can close Android Studio and go back to IntelliJ. Most of the times I just use IntelliJ because I like it more than Android Studio. I don't know why. So, while I'm rebooting my device, let's try to get the API. Um, open Google or your favorite browser. And you can type Pixabay API. Uh, you have the documentation, but okay, you can click on Pixabay Developer. And here, uh, let's go on Sign Up. Uh, to get the API, you have to create an account. So, for the username, I'll write uh, YouTube. No, actually, I'll write my name because I may need to use this after. Santos underscore Enoch. For the address here, I can put my personal email, but I'll put on uh, i'll put the same email but for gmail for hotmail password you can write anything i'll just write a b c one two three <laughs> i don't really have to tell you my password but okay uh you create your own uh, account using your email and your stuff right then we sign up let me hit sign up save this okay now let me go to my personal email and verify this I'll stop the video then I'll come back when everything is verified you do the same thing you go to email you verify your account and it's it's going to be all you need to do so after your verification is done it's going to take you here edit profile I don't really want to edit this, so I'll just hit save. Yeah, I can do just like that, right? Okay. Uh, you come down here. You see here API. You just click on it. Mm, documentation. Get started. This is important to read. You can come and read all the information you need to get. Error handling. And this is my key. This is the important part. Uh, you're going to have a different key than this one. But okay, that's the one you're going to use, right? So here, you're going to um, copy your key. I recommend you to save it somewhere else. Let me just open Notepad. You can open Notepad and you can write my my Pixabay API key. So you will always remember if you want to refer to this one. All right. Um, file. Let me save this. on my drive one drive okay you can save it here no problem 
Let me pick survey key. Okay, so I just gave that name, so I will always remember. For now, I can minimize here. Okay, now uh, let's. Uh, it's important for you to read this because if you understand this, you are going to need to understand this to get the images in in the application. The key is required for the queue here. Uh, URL in code search. All images are returned. Let me just jump because you have a lot of things there. Come here to the example. Okay, now it's simple. Uh, you'll use first this, right? Then after key here, you're going to put your personal key here. Then ampersand Q here, you're going to put the, the, uh, the category you're looking for here. An image type you can put photo gif but we only want photos so you're going to put photo only now let me copy this example mm. copy link address I can close my heart mail here for now let me open a new tab let me paste this and okay come here to your key this is just for testing if the key is working or not you copy the key you come back here until here you can change the key let's suppose you want to have car images You hit enter and you see it is working you're getting your JSON file it means that your API will work okay to prove to you that this will work we have this large image URL you can copy this and come to a new tab And just copy that URL here you have it so it's everything set for us to use this inside our application um, okay for now let's copy this this is important no actually you don't copy this let's copy here where we have the JSON file and if you don't know JSON is a JavaScript object notation okay uh, coming here I want to store my key in a specific file uh, so to make this easy come to the lib folder I will create new dart file okay and i'll call this source scr for source and you come inside here let's create a variable let's call it key api key api key uh, let's assign this the value of your key copy here come back here and here you have it right now you have your key saved just give this a uh, small case to make it so the compiler will like it more right now you can come inside of here because we want to have access to that variable, the key variable. So write import source.dart. You see? Now we can have access to that variable, the key variable. Okay.
uh, this was done and now uh, what is the next step for us well because we want to be able to access some images from the internet we want to access some files we need to have a special a special library called path provider path provider flutter okay you can just click on the first one okay now you have this page where you can you read about the usage and all of the examples let's see how to install and it will tell you to add this dependency so let's copy this let's go back to our project open the pub spec file here and you come down here let's add the path provider package upgrade sometimes you can get errors from this for no reason i don't know why but if you try it if you get an error or something like that you can erase it and try it again and it will work i don't really know why it happens but i guess that in future versions of flutter and dart this is not going to happen okay so if you have this with exit code zero means no problem you're good to go now let's go back to here and you see they told us to import this i guess that for this whole project this is the only thing you're going to need to import i'm not sure i'm talking about external dependencies okay get dependencies hit on get dependencies um it's done now you can use this okay uh so what is the next step now uh our next step will be uh let's think together now we want to get the the pics or the photos from that json file right so let's create a future function future data type only means we are going to get something uh sometime in the future right so you have to import some things if you don't want to get errors the first thing is dart we want dart async then you have to import dart uh convert and the last thing you're going to import import dart h yes now i'm forgetting the name of the last package ah package http http dot dart this is what we're going to import for now now uh let's create that function oh you know what before we create the function let's create let's create the let me open here this is the original project is not the same we're running right let's write uh oh i have to use this let's write orange for example then uh, hit search okay now we want to create this here this is what we want to create so, uh, before we use the, we, we take the photos from the JSON file we, we have to create the second windows because we want to take the photos for the uh, we want to take the photos and display them in the second window so this is our goal now okay let's do this 
let's create a stateless stateful widget or stateful class and let's call this class uh, second page you can give another name if you can think of a better name here instead of returning a container let's return a scaffold because scaffolds are awesome and let's give this app bar and for that sorry for the app bar we're going to give a background color give this colors dot blue and uh, what else title i'm going to give this a text and in here uh i'm going to give photo bay right let's style this text just a little bit style give text text style and text style will be font um color colors dot white okay yeah i guess that this is good for now let's try to run our app so before we run our app let's minimize this i have a lot of things going on here okay let's try to run without closing that the second one this may take some seconds okay i'll pause the video i don't want to wait uh so ladies and gentlemen here we have it uh but as you see this is what we see not not the thing not that stateful widget we were doing just now we did this on our last class and we don't want to see this for now uh before i teach you how to route let's just come here and change this class the home we put uh we'll put second second page and let's the hatcher load doesn't work for me so i'll just restart the application over again okay and let's see what we have this is what we have let's come to the up bar on um, let me write here uh title center title and i'll give this true center title is true let's reload the application okay oh uh, well this video i guess that it's already way too long and i don't want to i always say that you know so uh for now we'll stop here and the part two of this video will be when we actually use the the we already set up the api now we just want to create a list view and we will display all the images from the api inside of the list view uh, that will be our second video see you on the next one